So in this video, I'm going to be talking about correlation or cross-referencing, using scripture to interpret scripture. Hi everybody, I'm Duan and welcome to my channel, Faithfully Living, where we learn how to study the Bible together. If you're new to this channel, I want to tell you welcome and do me a favor by subscribing to this channel, give it a thumbs up to like the video, and hit that notification bell so you won't miss any content. If you're a subscriber, I want to tell you welcome back. Thank you for subscribing. Please share with your friends and family. So in correlation or cross-referencing, it is part of the interpretation part of the inductive method. But I wanted to take a video to kind of explain it in a little bit more detail on how you would cross-reference a text. So with correlation or cross-referencing, it's going to amplify your knowledge of what the Bible teaches. It's going to and, um, increase your discernment and give the Bible, let the Bible be the authority in ourselves. It's going to broaden our knowledge of the Bible, of the different verses that pertain to a particular subject. And it's going to help us um, discern between truth and then error. All right, so let me tell you how you're actually going to cross, find cross-references within the Bible. So the tools that you're going to need is your Bible, and then you're going to need a concordance. So the concordance that you're going to use, make sure it um, correlates with the translation of the Bible that you're using. So you may have to use a different um, translation according to what concordance you're using than the main translation you're using to study. The concordance come in King James, um, the New American Standard, and then some online resources um, allows you to do cross-reference within a certain translation. So you can use that also. So what you're going to do is you're going to um, verify the theme within the context that you are studying, of the text that you're studying. So our text is um, Genesis chapter 1. And so far, we've been only doing the first two verses. So our theme is God as creator. So the words that we are going to be looking up is created, creator, and then creation. So what we're going to do is we're going to look up all the verses either in the New Testament and in the Old Testament. And we're going to look up all those verses. And then what we're going to do, we're going to have to um, study all those verses within the context text that they appear and so to see if these verses relate to the theme that we're studying which is God as creator and as we go through these it's going to take us a while to go through all of these verses but we're going to make note of the verses that parallel or correlate to the theme that we are studying which is God is creator so what I'm going to do in um, the next part of this video, I am going to show you using some online references, uh, uh, online resources to help this, to show you how you would um, find cor correlating or cross references to our particular text. All right, I am going to um, show you how to do correlation with some online tools. We're going to do the cross reference with um, the Blue Letter Bible, and then we are going to use Bible Gateway to look up our actual text. So our text is Genesis chapter one. In our Digging Deeper series, we have been um, just looking at verses one through two, but in your observation, um, in your general study, we would have read um, Genesis chapter one a number of times to get a whole gist of what the um, first chapter of Genesis is talking about, and it's giving us the account of creation. So in the Blue Letter Bible, we are going to get our main text that we are reading from, which is the NLT. And we are going to look up certain um, words pertaining to our subject of creation, our God as creator. So first we are going to look up Created. And this part of um, correlation takes a while because you would you see all the verses here that um, have created in them. And we would have to look up each one of these verses to see how it pertains to our theme that we are looking at, um, God. 
God as creator. So it's it, it's going to take a little bit because we want to make sure we have we are looking at these verses in the right context. So we are going to hone in on John and look at verses um, three, four, and ten. So we're just going to go to Bible Gateway and look up John. All right. So we are in John chapter one um, to kind of get a context. Um, we are going to read the first um, verse in the beginning the word already existed the word was with God and the word was God he existed in the beginning with God God created everything through him and nothing was created except through him the word gave life to everything that was created and his life brought light to everyone and if we skip down to verse um, 10 he came into the very world he created, but the world didn't recognize him. So, probably wondering who is the word, the title kind of gave it away for, to us, Christ the Eternal Word. So it's telling that Jesus Christ is the word. So we can tell from observing this text here that um, Jesus existed when God existed in the beginning since Jesus is God. And it tells us that um, Jesus, or the Word, create, created everything. So it's telling us that um, Jesus is the creator of the world. That's one thing. Alright, so next we are going to look at the word creator. See what that turns up. So again, we would have to look at the context of each one of these verses so we wouldn't take them out of context. So let's look up Isaiah 44, 24. So Isaiah 44. Again, we would have to read the whole context. Read the whole um, chapter 44 to try to get a context of what it's saying here. We are going to go to 24. See what it says. It says, This is what the Lord says. You are Redeemer and Creator. I am the Lord who made all things. I alone stretched out the heavens. Who is Who was with me when I made the earth? So you can kind of see this is a declaration or statement by God saying that He is the Creator of all things all right so next we are going to look up the word creation all right so the verse i chose here is colossians 1 and 15. so we're going to go back and look up colossians 1. So we're going to hone in on 15, just for time's sake. So it says, Christ is the visible image of the invisible God. He existed before anything was created and is supreme over all creation. So this verse tells us again that um, Jesus existed at the beginning with God and that Jesus Christ is God and that he is um, ruler over all creation so that's kind of give you how to um, use the blue letter bible to help you find those cross references it's this much easier if you do it online but you can also use a um, concordance a heart a book concordance the heart book of concordance and look up each verse and kind of look up the Hebrew and Greek word to see how they correlate with each other. So I hope that was helpful for you to see how to correlate or cross-reference a text. It's so, so important that as you're studying the Bible and trying to interpret that you use scripture to interpret scripture and correlation and cross-reference is how it's going to help you um, find other scriptures to interpret the text that you're studying. So, hope this is helpful for you. 
If you haven't already, please subscribe to this channel. Hit that notification bell so you won't miss any content. Give it a thumbs up and I'll see you on the next video. See ya.